Okay, we're on chapter 30 of Tanya, and I'm so happy you're still here with me. Uh, let's see, embracing humility. Be humble and consider yourself lower than all, even the wanton sinners, for the intensity of their struggle is greater than yours. This is a game changer in your life. You can't even imagine after learning this that you'll have a different um, capacity to tolerate others and definitely help you interact with those around you in a more humble way. So this chapter begins with explaining two different types of humility. And there is a pasuk that says, Be lowly of spirit before every man. And um, and the wording that is used is shefal ruach, and so there's like two different types of like humbleness and humility. There's a one type that is called sheflut, and that is like a feeling of inferiority in comparison with others. Then there's another type which is called anavut, which is a type of humility that um, even though you are aware of your superior qualities, but you realize it's a God-given gift and maybe someone else would have totally used it in a better way. So the fact that you have been able to be that humble, even when you know that you have certain gifts that are maybe superior to somebody else. Uh, so the, the Mishnah, when it talks about be lowly of spirit before every man, some sages say, well, you know, just act humbly. But the al actually says, no, really be thus humble before every man. And uh, so uh, the author Rebbe is going to go into detail, like, what? <laughs> and, and explain to us, how can we be more humble than the Kal Shebekalim, the worst sinners? They're doing grave sins, and maybe even on purpose in defiance of God. And we were trying to pray and learn, and we're, we're trying to do such good things in our life. And how can we literally feel more humble than they? Well, the explanation is as follows. We cannot judge the difference between someone who is doing actively the types of sins that are like heinous even and the difference between a void in a positive commandment. Like in our eyes, oh my gosh, okay, so I didn't do this positive mitzvah, and maybe I didn't even do it like beautifully, but that's nothing compared to like that kind of sin. But up above, there's no real comparison. We cannot down here understand the difference between the two. So one's lack of a kavana in a prayer could be just as offensive as someone's purposeful sin. One person can be born with a baker's oven and it is such a struggle for them to keep that <laughs> mouth shut of theirs. Uh, and another person is born with such a, like, Oh my gosh, it's so difficult for them to, um, you know, be in the marketplace because they have such a taiva. They were born with such an emotional passion of wanting pleasures, and so they fall prey. Whereas someone else could be that they were born frigid and they don't even have that kind of temptation. So there's no way we can discriminate the difference between one person and the other because we just don't know. We haven't been in their place to know why it's so difficult for them and why they're failing. So can you imagine like one's lack of a positive deed? I mean, the Alter Rebbe lists so many different things that 
we can think about to humble ourselves. Like, uh, like we don't know that our lack of a positive could be just as um, lowly in a sense as someone else's lowest of lowest behavior that looks so much worse. So now do you see after learning this that you can really have this paradigm shift in your mind and reach a level of humbleness when dealing with other people, especially important with a family member, especially important when trying to heal a relationship. Dr. Rebbe actually lists a couple of questions we have to ask ourselves to help us reach that greater level of humbleness. Do we battle the category of evil impulses to the same extent that the lowest of sinners does? Maybe not. Do we exert enormous effort to have pure kavanas while studying and praying and saying blessings? Do we battle in our, like, trying to occupy ourselves in Torah study? Um, do we really try to go beyond our nature and do more than is comfortable for us? Do we wage enough war against our Yetzirah when we're giving tzedakah? Do we sanctify ourselves by refraining from indulgences in the permitted? Um, do we summon up the strength to stop in the middle of gossip? Think about all those things. And maybe we don't. And this is what we have to consider. Do we wage enough of a war like those who have that passion like a baker's oven or that weren't born frigid and have such lusting natures? You know, it says in Tanya, again, that, you know, we cannot compare... Uh, once we contemplate all this, we cannot compare ourselves to other people. Uh, then we'll be able to really be of lowly of spirit before every man. And in this way, the person will crush his own spirit and the spirit of the sitra achra of his animal soul. And thus enabling he, the light of his neshama to permeate and irradiate in his body. And this is a... a a medicine, a remedy for our soul that might feel tim tumalev, that might feel not so sensitive to the spiritual. And so when we know this information and use it as a tactic, we will be able to have better relationships. I also want to read from Tanya where it says a story of... of Rabbi Shimon, and uh, he said to his father, the Rabbeinu HaKadosh, there was a uh, there was a discrepancy in in the uh, in a bill, and the boy said it wasn't me that made the mistake. It was you know this the person who they were working with, and his father said, stay away from Lash and Hara. Like, even that, like, you, you just want to say, I want to exonerate myself. Well, I'm not the one who did it. Like, hello. But even that, you know, is a form of Lashon Hara. Do we battle that? You know, maybe not. So we have to, like, really try hard to get to that level where we see that um, we can't so much look down at other people when we ourselves may not be so uh, much of a, a type of a personality that wages wars with you know other holy matters in our day-to-day -day life. So I hope this finds you well. It surely helped me a great deal and um, hopefully it'll help you too.